Well, hello everybody, welcome to, uh, this, uh, one of the show that I, I thought that the people were gonna run around, but apparently if you throw purple on a big egg that has those guys, it just kills all those guys. Neat. Uh, other thing is, I messed up pretty badly, so I had to go and re-record the the episode that would have been this one, which required me to go to an older save file, which the only one I had was the one that was right after we did the 10 stories. Uh, so here are just some random things that I took a screenshot of or recorded a clip of, like, during my time of going back through everything for a few hours, which I just got finished with, by the way. Also, that's my arsenal that I just got for everything. This is to show you, like, just look how slow it is to build up an army of low Pikmin. Like, because I, I went through the whole uh, cave with just a hundred low Pikmin. Except for two exceptions, and I think my both get shown in this. I, I I might have just got finished doing all of this, but I also don't know why it randomly gives me pack seeds. I might have just got finished doing with all of this. Doesn't mean I remember everything. So here's the show that they do not hit mushrooms when I pair the hand. They don't care about that. Same goes for eggs, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they don't care about that. And they don't care about nectar. So you can't use nectar on glow pigment. You can use an ultra spicy spray. But it doesn't give them a flower. This... This one I wish I was actually recording for. I would have recorded all this. But, like, I didn't know how long it was going to take. And I definitely don't got space to record, like, three hours worth of me just redoing everything. All in one session. One sitting. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, right, because I went and did that. Which they don't die! Good news. This is great. It's just like, look at them. If they get hit by the snowball, they just come straight back to you, so I just kind of ran forwards, basically. Also, I was so distracted by what the heck was happening over there with Ochi and carrying these things. Apparently if Ochi gets hit by the snowball, they don't care and they just stand there. They don't bother the move. So, you know, you just get this perspective. <laughs> Which I managed to get this lovely screenshot. I love it. Such a good screenshot. Why do I have this? Oh, just to have better or more angles? Yeah, the angle without that on and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. And here's some of this. I don't know what the heck was happening here, why these guys were struggling so badly. I guess there's a golf ball in front of them, but like, they start riding up the rails. Like, what's going on here? It was crazy. Also, the whole time using the charge whistle because I was trying to get them to. Oh, yeah. There it is. I love that you can actually see the way. Hang on. I love that you can actually see them down there. Actually, it would be better if it went this way. Oops. Yeah, you can, you can just see them all the way down there. Does this work in this? Oh, wow, it does. Oh, those two little glow pigmen <laughs> who just somehow ran off the cliff. Whoops. Oh yeah, I have to close this. There we go. Anyways. I also noticed that after the thing was disordered, the little pigmen were still in like the shape of it, which I thought was neat. Though I took the screenshot a bit late. Basically, I didn't at this point. However, I learned that throwing pigment don't go when I throw it. Remember, ball packs it. 
Playhouse was a set of that one. Which, I don't know how that hit. But that was crazy. That that hit. Unfortunately, that happened. So I decided, yeah, I'm not going to throw 41 more Pikmin. 44 more Pikmin. I'm going to just rewind time. Why'd I... I guess we'll find out. I thought it was just a screenshot, but I guess something else happened. I get to rediscover what I did play. Like. I don't know, I, after this I did all the cleanup work that we did after the den. Which involved... You know, going back to the... Uh, blossom... or not, the, the giant's hearth. Oh yeah, right, that's why I saved that clip, because it confused the heck out of me that I told OG to charge at that Emperor Ballblax, and they said, Got it! Picks up the Emperor Ballblax that's dead. Meanwhile, a uh, new fun fact, they do not target the treasure either with that, so they just go all the way down. This was one of the moments where I had to, uh, use some other pigment other than glow pigment because the hydro jelly. <laughs> that, I, for the, that was the reason why I saved the clip, was just because, like, did you, like, Captain, or, like, your character just goes and stands still idle, like, just, yep, I accept my fate. Oh well. Also, don't mind me. Actually, chucking all the pigment off and hurts. Because, I mean, they don't die. And then you get to see that. Like, they just land on the air. And, like a cartoon, go, Oh, there's no ground. And fall. Oops. Which I think is a thing. And here, and I, I only say this just to show the fact that, like, I had to slowly freeze this with five pigment. Cause I mean, I could have got five more ice pigment, but uh, also they do not target hydro jellies. So some of them just kind of fell, and then other ones got pushed off by the others. Oh, oh no! This is when I realized that they don't go for, but they lose their flower. Cause they're all flowered in this clip. And then here, they're not. So, like, going to the next floor makes them lose a flower. Which means glow pigments specifically only get the flower once they existed long enough on said floor. Which, at that point, or sub-level, rather. Which, kind of just means, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Happened because I got rid of all the ice pigment. Which, but that kind of means like getting a blow pigment flowered doesn't really help much. But ah oh well. There goes that. There goes the ice pigment. Also, don't know why I took that screenshot. No, I was shocked that they even left the charges in the water. Just to be honest here. Oh god, that one little picture got cake. I didn't even notice that before. I was too distracted by the fact that a hundred blow equipment actually does kill the whole weapon all in one go. Which is amazing. I'm very happy to fa found that out. And the egg here actually gave me three ultra spicy sprays, which was crazy too. Dang, they look like a quaff ghost. Oh, then there's also just this. Look at that arrow. These guys. Whoops. Oh, apparently bumpers also included. I did not know that bumpers went cycle through the pictures. I've been hitting left and right this whole time. But. Great that 
these guys have glowing lures, kind of like angler fish. I assume they probably do the in things to like, uh, you know, like beat them in so they can eat them. And it got baited. It got completely baited by that one glow pigment. What is that? It looks so weird. That's water, but it just kind of makes it look like the thing itself is like liquid. And it's like making a big old splash because the enemy's liquid. But that's not what's happening there. It's just what it looks like. Hey! What happened to here? I don't know. Was it... Actually, no, I don't know. Why do I have this? I'm not really a person who knows about books and stuff. I just, I'm just a person. This is basically kind of how it is if I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. This is basically how it is when I, um... Uh, look through any clips on my Switch or on the computer. Like, I just have a bad habit. At least in this case, it's like... I think by this point, I actually did go, you know what? I think I am going to, like, keep saving these clips and, like, show them off and stuff. No idea why OG went for the butterfly. Just look how happy OG is over there. Except actually, I forgot OG didn't jump at that butterfly, they just left. Well, you can also one cycle those guys if you have a hundred of them. Also very handy dandy. Uh, another thing to note, Glow Pigment can be crushed to death. I walked into this room and I had to immediately rewind because it, like half my Glow Pigment were just squished. It was crazy how that happened. They're immune to status I have that. They're immune to status effects but not anything else. Which one's sub level 15? Is that the one we were just looking at? It is. Why do I have this save? Did I mean to save this? Oh. No, I don't know. It was the fact that... Right, and that's why I took the screenshot. Ochi refused. Ochi over here was refusing to... Let the glow pikmin go, or the glow pikmin were too scared to jump off of Ochi. Either or, maybe even both. But I don't know why they wouldn't hop off Ochi there. It's not even like they can't get out and or like they wouldn't be able to be in the water. They just refuse to leave, and it's just looked cool having the whole conga line of this many uh, buttons. Yeah. The whole conga line. Look at that. Like, it looks so nice. Is that the whole clip then? That is the whole clip. It's the nice little conga line. I liked it. Oh yeah, also, the game is a liar. Sub level- Yeah, let me, let me just go back. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's clip finish. So let me just show you here. Sub level 15. 100%. Okay. And then, you know, not all treasures have been collected. So which is it? 100% or not? Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I still need to go do Louie's missions. To get the extra hand. This was the other moment that I had to uh, use a different type of pigment. Uh, this purple pigment kind of necessary due to the fact that you can stun them, but you're not keeping all your pigment <laughs> or damaging them. It's interesting that they didn't stay stunned for very long. Why did I lose? Oh yeah, I lost 51. Yikes. Whoops. 
I like your I bet these guys with less purple pigment also kind of sucks. That many people can charge red light. And if you want to pick enough, you will get that after one purple. You can do this with just like one purple and like kill three people. Uh, meanwhile, this water rate did not care about the other water rate at all. Just actually, like, went over them. Okay. That's what I can actually say. I forgot that they kind of like do that. Weird. Any other reason? It's also a problem on Team Clips, it's like it's poised to do the last thing. Oh yeah, Ochi. I don't know what the heck happened there with Ochi. Like, how did Ochi get stuck in there? Like, what happened? Like, what, why did Ochi run so far ahead and get stuck? That's what I don't get. What's that? Like, why? It's like Pochi saw the water wave going down and wanted the like, big hug. And thought he was gonna get hugged. And then, uh... I guess... Yeah, it took me a while to figure out which floor I was on. But... I did learn... Both of them can also work in the replacement of rock picnic. If you don't get dodged. Because I 100% just got completely dodged right there. But I, I, did, I didn't save a clip for the next attempt, but I did do it. Yeah, I just rewinded and then I just hit them. And then I just hopped on Ochi and charged right away. And the glow pick went before like, I even hit them with the charge, pretty much killed them. Meanwhile, uh, don't mind, <laughs> don't mind the, uh, slight murder of five purple Pikmin. Just right here. You know, just recording my crimes. To which I love that their ghosts stay in the, the back, like, stay there. And start floating, or like keep floating away is what I mean. They still stay shown in the little animation of it being like, oh, the purple Pikmin are lost. And then, you know, plant five more. Why not? What? Oh, yeah, right. I checked again to see if they give us the new log. Apparently, if we're gonna get that, we're gonna have to get that scale of a full on picnic season, I think. Which is unfortunate because we have a lot of picnic. That's what it's about. By the way, Sovereign Bottle Flex, also no match for Glow Pikmin. saved it because Ochi oh, just, after the thing got dug up, just immediately went to go jump on one of these guys. It looks funny to me. What else we got here? We got this clip. That's almost done. This has been 20 minutes? How? How do I have, like, I did not think I would save that much. I thought this was going to be like 10 minutes, you know, a short little funny thing. I'm just like looking at the goofy things that happened. I didn't realize this whole thing. I now realize why this whole thing was a loading screen. <laughs> I just love the fact that it would do. Whole reason that is there. This one was actually crazy. This was 
really weird situation where here, let me pause it first. Actually, no, no, I keep playing. I'll talk about it. So, I ran out of materials. As you can see in the top right, I got one from the enemies that were normally there. The queen poop and killed them and took back the bodies and the material. So, I tried throwing Pikmin up there, and threw Yellow and the the winged up there, and then tried charging them. I don't like how I was doing in this clip right here, you know, at this moment. And they, all they could do was get to like the edge of the box, and then the winged Pikmin would get being stopped like that. But eventually, like the weird slime thing, like got close enough that the winged Pikmin actually like targeted onto it. So. All the wing Pikmin that I had actually went and fought the enemies, and then they came back over here. And it was just so weird, because... Then as you can see, it's like, there's just an invisible wall. Like, apparently, in the development, they decided that they're not gonna let you, like, cheese the game by doing stuff like this, even though it's really difficult to even do this in the first place. Like, I... Like I said, the Wing Pikmin could only get to, like, the edge of the box. Uh, yeah, of the... paper bag. And they would just stop. And I assume that's probably because of the invisible wall, but... still. It's just, like... They... There's just that huge invisible wall there. Which is just crazy, and I don't know, like, what tells the game that it should exist or not. Like, if I went and actually had enough materials and built the wall to climb up to get to this area, like, would the game be like, oh, you can reach this, so let it get pushed down? Or if you have to be, like, within a certain range, like, there's an invisible range behind it. Like, you know, like, maybe somewhere from, like, here, or, like, you know, right behind the bag to, like, Maybe that line behind the white winged Pikmin. Like, you gotta be within, like, that kind of range. Or radius. I guess it wouldn't be radius, but... For the game to be like, yeah, you're good, or... I want, I'm curious how the game checks to get rid of the invisible wall. The world may never know. Actually, the world will probably know. I'm sure there's probably somebody who can figure out, like... While trying to find speed run strats or something, just like looks into it and they're like, Oh, so that's why they're invisible walls there. So then like they try to find a way to like trick the game into thinking that you can actually push it so you can push it. And I saved that just to show what it would have looked like if the game didn't bug out last time. I tried that. And then this is just to show like these are the materials I got. In the end, I ended up realizing that I got one from the, from the enemy that the wing poop killed, or one of the enemies that the wing poop killed, and I killed an extra spider that was apparently still alive on the over world here. But I, I thought there was only two materials needed for the wall, so I went back in and found out I was wrong. And then, you know, then I pushed the bag down. And I couldn't remember what the code was for. The other time that we did it, so like there's the code this time. I guess if I remember, I can check to see if they're different. Uh, this is because, like, as you might have saw up there, the beach ball for some reason can't be carried down. And by for some reason, I mean understandably so. I just did not think about it when I went to uh tell Pippin to go carry it. So. <laughs> Apparently, you have to have OG carry the beach ball, at least to this point. Which then, I discovered, because I noticed it was rolling. And then, by accident, I walked into it, and I found out, you can actually roll the beach ball. It, it's a movable object you can actually, like, push around and charge into, which I find amazing. I wish... There was more items like this. This was great that this was a thing. It makes me so it makes me so happy still to just see Oh, I should have tried pushing it up the paper bag to see if it would go up. Darn. Wish I thought about that. It looks like it might actually. It looks like it hit it. Like actually hit a ramp and 
Yeah, like it was a ramp and went back down. But yeah, no, it's like... <laughs> if you push it into the SS Beagle, it doesn't absorb. And then there it goes. Sadly, it had to be done. So yeah, that that's the clips I got. I'm, I'm still amazed that the uh, beach ball can be pushed like that. That's amazing. Like, it's great. Also, 2,408 screenshots and videos. It's a good thing I bought a big micro SD card. You know what? Just just to prove that I have a problem. Where, where's the storage? How, how much space? Will tell me how much space is taken up by these screenshots and stuff? No, that's the games. Uh, total 3.6 right now. Okay, but I have like a whole flash drive that's at least 20 gigabytes. I think they are 20 gigabyte flash drive. I don't remember how big they are, but at least 20 gigabytes of just stuff from the Switch. And then a little bit extra on another flash drive. So yeah, I have a problem. By the way, that'll do it for this episode of Pikmin 4. I'm going to go do the Louie stuff now, I guess, unfortunately. Which, I mean, I guess it's mostly waiting for loading screens. But, eh. That, that, that's why I said unfortunately. But it wasn't another insult to Louie. It's just I don't want to go through loading screens again. So, uh, see you all in the next episode, where we'll go actually finish doing 100%. I apologize for making the big mistake. I'll explain it in the next episode how it happened. I forgot to do it this one. Bye bye Actually, I, I forgot. Um, I, I'm going to show you the fight. I forgot that I didn't show you that. I'm going to show you the fight with uh, the big dog using 100 glow pigment. So not bye bye That means I've now said like twice. Apparently a lot of buys and this a lot of people are leaving in this one, huh? Okay. Have have fun with that. Well, since I'm here, I might as well see what happens, uh when these blow pick in this fight. I am curious. And by since I'm here, I mean, since I kind of have to do this again anyways. I'm just going to use both of them. What happens. Also, fun fact, I did find out while editing that Louis really does just actually stay on the back of the dog the entire fight. Even though the dog does moments like this where they're completely on their back, totally crushing Louis. Okay, well, with all my Pikmin and OG were attacking, I think I would have just defeated the dog. So I just lost Pikmin. I should probably hop on OG for this. Specifically, this in the last phase, I guess I would have to have to be on OG so the Pikmin don't uh, die. But it's the other ones, they don't care if they're in. Like, the other ones, the Pikmin don't really care if they're in the way of the attacks because the attacks don't do anything to them. They're, they're uh, glow Pikmin. Now do we actually one cycle? Oh, come on. Almost seems like we can't one cycle on purpose. Dang. Did I have Pikmin die the first time around? Or did we actually get out from under the dog and it just already shows that I died that quickly when I went to go rewind time? I'm not really sure which it is. I should really stand closer to those. Oh, hi, I almost got crushed by that. So that way they don't jump as far. I can, uh, have them land sooner. They can through the phase quicker. Oh, well. Oh, you know what I could have done? 
Oh, I wonder if... Okay, no. OG charging is stuck there. So never mind, never mind. Uh, I don't think it would have helped. I was gonna say, it's like, what if I, like, had OG charge? Get that way. If that would, uh... Stop them. For long enough, like, stun them or something. Just reminded myself that I did this. I should have saved the other two for the final phase. Wait, I was definitely going to save for the final phase. Okay, I don't have to run OG anymore. It's like, what are they going to do? Electrocute us? Oh no. How terrible. Well, you don't actually charge though, don't you? Yeah, I forgot about the charge. Hang on, what if we throw past them? Do you even prevent them from being even? No. No, we do not. Aw, jerk, you are going to. Also prevent us from doing things. Because this puffballs. So I guess more phases than I thought actually require Ochi. For the sake of just not having a big power to pick it easily defeated. Oh! What was that? That was weird. Okay, can you like... Oh yeah, the charge is not even when I'm supposed to get the tail. I completely forgot. Alright, I had YouTube open, so that's why I just put my static out of nowhere. I forgot to consider the fact that OPS is taking up so much resource. Many resources and then have them come to the at the same time, which is not the best. Oh no, fire! What if Pippin was actually grab it? Wait, did it charge? Did the dog charge in this phase? Okay, that. I think it's a shot fireball. I guess they can also charge. Uh, we're gonna take out this and blam him. Knock him. Stun. Just like that, we actually win cycle. That's actually really nice. I'm happy that I did it that way. I thought about it during the electric phase. I wonder if the electricity thing works on the more, uh, the amp rats. Some of the amp rats are electric. Not sure. Other very similar, but it's fine. Okay, we didn't get him. That's unfortunate. And I know that I know for a fact because I have messed around before in like the physical media that explosives can reach him. 
while they're flying, because I went in the I was curious if you could, like, go specifically for only bombs. So I threw only bombs at them and gassy. So in a way, we kind of like that. Sort of. But anyways, that's the dogfight if you have glow pigment. If you use one item, you can one cycle a phase. Which is pretty cool. Either way, uh, bye bye.